Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we shall be treating part 2 of set theory. In the part 1 of this lesson, we have defined sets, subsets, power sets, union of sets, intersection of sets, difference of sets, symmetric difference, Cartesian product, Venn diagrams, and a lot more. I suggest that you watch that first video before coming back to this one. And please subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. In today's lesson, we shall use Venn diagrams to solve the following problem. In a class of 30 students, 25 like football and 15 like wrestling. Every student like, likes at least one of these sports. Question is, how many students liked both sports? Solution. The first thing we do here is this. Now there are two sports here. We have football and wrestling. So we say let say F represent football and let's say capital W, you know their sets, represent what? Wrestling. So that instead of writing football, we just write F for the set. And so writing wrestling, we just write capital W for wrestling. Now the next thing we now do is to bring out the parameters, all the numbers in the problem. So we are told that there are 30 students in a class of 30 students. So the entire class has 30 students. And what does this 30 mean? It simply means the universal set. So the number of students, which is N of U, N U means the cardinal number of students in the class is equal to what is equal to 30. The next thing we have is 25. We said 25 students like football. So number of students in set F is what? 25. And lastly, we are told that 15 like wrestling. So number of students in set W, which is for wrestling, is how many? Is 15. So we are asked to determine how many students like both sports. So we say, okay, let the number of students, let the number of students that like both sports, that like both sports, be what? Be X, since we don't know how many they are, be X. Now, what does this mean? Now, this simply means that the number of students in the intersection of set F and set W is equal to X. Because there are two sets involved. Set F, which is those who play for, who like football, and set W for those who like wrestling. Now, X is the number of students. They said how many students like both sports? That means this, this X number of students can be found in set F as well as set W. So this number, so X simply means the number of persons found in the intersection of set F and set W. You can refer to our first video on set theory, you know, to get all these definitions of intersection, union, and the rest. The next thing that follows is our Venn diagram. So we have our first subset here, F for football, and the next subset here, W for wrestling. And of course, both subsets will be enclosed within our universal set U. So U is how many? 30 students. How many students liked football? 25 from the question. We have it. F is 25. And how many students liked wrestling from the question is 15. Now, on a Venn diagram, the very first component of the Venn diagram that must be filled up at all times is the intersection because on the intersection we can get other components of our venn diagram so this intersection means the number of students who like football as well as wrestling and our problem here we have said let that number be what x so f intersection w is x the number of students who like football and wrestling are x in number which we do not know so we now try to fill up the other parts of our Venn diagram. To have students like football, okay, let's start with this other side here. To have students like football. But remember, 
Of the 25 students who liked football, X number of them also liked what wrestling. So how do we get the number of students who only liked football, which is this region here? And this region, of course, if you, if you recall from our Venn diagrams in the last lecture, this region here corresponds to what? To F difference what? W. So this will now be 25 minus X. 25 students liked football, no doubt. But of the 25 students who liked football, X number of them, X out of 25, also liked wrestling. But this region is F difference W. That means number of persons who, are, who liked football but did not like wrestling. So to get that number of persons, we subtract the intersection from F. So that gives us 25 minus X. We come over here too. 15 students liked wrestling. But out of these 15 students who liked wrestling, X number of them also liked football. So how do we get to know those who liked wrestling alone? Again, this region here is nothing but what? Wrestling, difference what? Difference football. That means element, the set of those who loved wrestling but did not like what? Football. So to get this section also, we say 15 minus X. Now on our Venn diagram, we now have all components filled up. Component 1, component 2, and component 3. With these three components filled up, we can now find any missing link on our Venn diagram. Now we should know that when we add up all the components on our Venn diagram, it should give us what? The universal set. So the total number, the total number of students is what? Will now be n of what? U. Of course, the number of students is the total number of is, is n of the universal set, which is 30. So total number of students will give us these three components joined together. This component is what? Is number of students who are in F difference W. So that is number of students in F difference W. The students here are those in the intersection of F and W plus number of students in F intersection W. And those who are here are those who are in W difference F plus number of students in W difference what f number of students in u and here u means the class universal set is 30 number of students that liked football but not wrestling is this is this section here 25 minus x plus number of students that liked both football and wrestling this portion which is x that's plus x and then plus number of students that liked wrestling but not football this section here 15 minus x so if we tidy this up minus x plus x is 0 25 plus 15 is 40 so we have 40 minus x so that if we rearrange the linear equation we we'll have that x is equal to 10. so what does this mean this means that 10 students out of 30 students in the class loved or liked both football and wrestling so those 10 students occupy these spots 10 of them like both spots football and wrestling so with, with this we can fill up other portions of our venn diagram so since x is now equal to 10 and here we have 25 minus x so 25 minus 10 gives us 15 and over here 15 minus 10 gives us 5. so let's interpret what we now have so this means that of the 25 students that loved or liked football, 10 of them liked both football and wrestling, and 15 out of 25 liked football only. And of the 15 students that liked wrestling, 10 of them again liked both wrestling and football, and 5 out of the 15 liked wrestling alone. So if you check it out, 10 plus 15 students here, gives you 25 students that liked football. And 10 plus 5 here gives you 15 students that liked wrestling. In the next video, we shall solve an example of a problem that has three subsets. And you'll see how we go about that kind of problem. Don't fail to like and leave a comment on this video. Thank you.
and bye-bye.